Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. It is your boy JNARC, and today we got a video on the presumed MVP candidate, number one MVP candidate in the NFL right now, and that's Lamar Jackson. This man has just been torching the NFL all season long, like low key. Like, look at this deep ball to Zay Flowers, who's been another awesome piece to this Ravens offense. And they're now sitting on top of the AFC. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful ball. They're now sitting up top as the number one seed as the playoffs are coming pretty much soon as we head into week 18. And Lamar Jackson and this Raven squad are primed for success. And even OBJ himself said that this team is probably the best team he's been on. So I thought, why not put Lamar Jackson on the Niners, the other number one seed in the NFL, who he destroyed that Monday night about two weeks ago. And this is how he looks like. Repping the number eight, he's a 96 overall. And he's a scrambler, obviously. We're going to tailor the offense to be towards him. And I think that he'll just add another asset to this this to this goaded Niners squad. Offensive line isn't as good, but the defense is probably just as solid as what he has in the what he has in the Baltimore Ravens and I want to change the offensive scheme to tailor towards Lamar even though I know the offense is great but I wanted to go towards our scrambling QB and let's see if one of these will work spread offense 87 percent scheme fit it's gonna fit for Lamar it's gonna fit for CMC and for Debo that works out playbook's gonna stay the same so that should turn out pretty well bro I sim to the middle of the season and we are seven and zero. Oh. Oh boy, we are nasty, bro. That's that's what I like to see. And our offense is ranked second. Lamar has 21 passing touchdowns and first and passing rating. 21 touchdowns and one pick. 76 completion percentage, 141 pass rating. He's only been sacked five times. And he has 24 carries, 102 yards. CMC almost has a thousand yards by the middle of the season. And Brandon Ayuk's going off. Alright, so Lamar Jackson, cheat code for the Niners confirmed. And Wow, I'm actually shocked. Second offensively. Lamar just comes in and just game changer big time. We got the three and three Bengals. I'm not even honestly worried about them. I, I'm not, to be honest. So let's go to the playoffs. Bro, so we ended up losing the final game of the season to lose our first game. 25 to 24. Rams went 12 and 5. Dude, we went 16 and 1. That is crazy. 16 and 1 and just lost the last game of the season, bro. Like just by one point and i know for a fact we tried so lamar makes this team just a hundred percent just insane but he wasn't number one though surprisingly in the league our offense was ranked first we had the best 54 passing touchdowns first in pass rating eighth in passing yards defense was ranked second number one offense number two defense 54 touchdowns eight interceptions for lamar jackson 138 passer rating and only got sacked 11 times and played every single game this season we just made trent williams one of the greatest cmc had 1700 rushing yards and 16 touchdowns 5.2 yards per carry brandon Ayuk had 23 touchdowns 1300 yards george kittle had 10 touchdowns debo was second with five touchdowns oh bro that's insane and our fact that our defense was number two 11 and a half sacks for Bosa, 11 for Hargrave, 8 and a half for Chase Young, 7 and a half for Eric Armstead. Oh my gosh, bro. Traverse were with seven picks. Bro, Niners should trade for Lamar Jackson at this point. But also, we had sent Brock Purdy to the Baltimore Ravens. At, and I want to see how they did. Because, okay, so it looks like Brock Purdy got injured. He had 12 touchdowns, four picks, 96 pass footing, still kind of solid. Okay. You know, things happen. Gus Edward had 17 touchdowns, 1,000 yards. All right. You know, things happened, of course. He's definitely barring an injury. I feel like they made the playoffs, though, considering. But, dude, we are insane. Ravens made the playoffs. They were number three seed. They won the AFC North, so that's good, good to see. But, bro, we're on fire, bro. Like, I got to see. I got to see this. I got to see this. Who do we face in week? Bro, the Vikings? Oh, bro, we're about to blast them. We're about to blast them. Minnesota already turned over the ball, so we're close to scoring anyways. And so Lamar Jackson and these unis here, he hits up George Kittle. Easy connection. Stiff arm. He breaks a tackle all the way down to the four-yard line, bro. Like, Lamar, like, he's just, this is just a perfect situation. Like, that's that's the best way to put it. Because we can pass here. What are the Vikings going to be able to do? I could throw it here, too. Easy touchdown. Easy. That's George Kittle. He gets rewarded for a touchdown. Come on, bro. We have a third and three here that I want to see if I can hit up Debo. Easy. Oh my gosh, bro. 
Um, that's Lamar Jackson's ninth interception on the season, but his 55th touchdown pass. So that was tough. But let's see if our defense can make a play. They definitely do. Oh, my gosh, dude. Should I even play this again? Why not? Why not? One more touchdown pass. Actually, why don't we run the rock? Let's run the rock with Lamar. If they send a blitz, I'm running. Oh, yeah. The speed. Oh, wait. Dime. Nope. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I, I saw Ayuk last second. If he made that play, bro, that would have been... I would have got out of this chair. <laughs> um, CMC. Gotcha, oh my gosh cmc that move was dirty bro bro it's like i don't even really need to run with lamar he's a, he's a quarterback you know 54 touchdowns eight picks like on the season bro like what more that that boy like yes yes he can run the rock but that's just another part of his game bro he's this guy's unstoppable george kittle he's got two people on him and i'm gonna throw uh, another pick Oh my gosh. All right, I'm trying to do too much. I'm trying to do too much. All right, so because we did too much, now the Vikings have come back in the game. So no more messing around. We're going to actually try to win this game and play smart football. Good. CMC dropped that. CMC dropped the pass. Nah, no way, dude. Nah, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I have faith in our guys. Charlie Warner to the left. Brandon Ayuk to the left. Debo. I have faith in our guys to pick this up. Ayuk. I believe in you. P.I.? P.I. Come on, bro. That's a P.I. right there. All right, so we let the defense do its thing, and we got the ball back somehow. So it looks like the Niners defense. Oh, my gosh. The Vikings have five turnovers. So we should stop gifting them chances to come back in this game. A run by CMC. Could not pick up the first down. He has 100 yards on the day, though. So that's pretty good. And five turnovers by this, by this defense is kind of, like, tough to see. But... Like, we, we really causing some damage here. But I want to see if we can throw another touchdown pass. Debo killed, just burned that safety. Josh Medalist for a touchdown. And that sends us to the next run. Bro, I just peeped the Cowboys are 16-1 and one as the number two seed. They're literally 16-1 and one as the number two seed. Bro, I guess we beat them when we played, but that's crazy. Lamar threw four. Wow, Josh Dobbs was the starter. Lamar threw... Four touchdowns, two picks. Another great game, though. One touchdown, three picks for Josh Dobbs. 23 carries, 99 yards for CMC. Madison fumbled. Uh, you can, and Brandon, uh, Justin Jefferson went off just chasing each other in terms of stats. But Dre Greenlaw had a pick. Fred Fred Warner had a pick. Cameron Bynum had a pick. Oh, that was against us, though. Defense, we definitely got some sacks. I like to see that. But we got a lot of interceptions from our guys. So let's see who we're facing. That. Oh, if it's the conference championship, it's definitely the Cowboys. Yeah, so we were 16-1, and one, and we're facing the Cowboys, who went 16-1 and one as well. Their only L was against us. And they just, the Rams had lost against the Vikings, actually. So that's why we didn't get to rematch them. And the Ravens ended up winning their first game against the Broncos, 21-16. And Bright, Brock pretty threw two picks in that game, too. So it's surprising that they still ended up winning. But then they got blasted by the Ra uh, Raiders, 35-14. to 14. Brock Purdy played a better game than Jimmy G, <laughs> Niner, <laughs> former Niner players. And um, it's Bills Raiders in the conference championship. And we got our big test against the Cowboys. This is a big rematch that they wanted. And this should be a good one. Down 7-0 in the second quarter. We got the ball. Oh, my gosh. I see Micah Parsons immediately break, get off the run block. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is, is going to be tough. This is where we need, um, we need better guards. And wide receiver wheel. If Elijah Mitchell could get open here, this would be a perfect pass. If not, we're going to have to settle for three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, just a little bit off. The safety reacted to that late. Just a little bit off. We're going to have to take our three. So we have another third down. Dallas has two turnovers. We're up. We're down 10 to 14, though. So we have to, like, get something here. Boom. Oh, my gosh. Ayuk with a beautiful route. It would be nice if Debo could lay down a block, though. <laughs> CMC running to the right side. Look at those blocks by our guys. Look at those blocks, dude. And we didn't even pick up the first down. That's crazy. Or the touchdown. That's crazy. But Debo finally, Debo handled it well. He handled it well. So we're going to just see if we can do a run for our QB. A QB sneak at the goal line. Should be pretty light. Yeah, you guys could stack up. Oh, but that's two. Wait, that's two cent. All right, you know what? Let's try it. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> literally nothing. I saw it, but I was just like, nah, there's no way they're going to stop it. But they, they literally stopped it. Hit them with a play action. See if they're going to expect this. Nope. 
George Kittle, dime in the back of the end zone, bro. While the defender's about to crack Lamar Jackson, bro. Come on. Oh, my gosh, dude. This Niners and Cowboys, they're going back and forth, dude. Game's tied 24-21. They held them. They scored. Lamar Jackson's taking them down the field. Third down alert. We got third and six here with 53 seconds to go. This is a very, very tight game. Oh, man. Oh, man is the right word, I say. <laughs> Mar Jackson, Kittle, wide open. Oh my gosh, all the way down to the two-yard line, dude. What a grab. George Kittle, MVP. They ended up scoring. And now it's up to the defense to get a stop. They need to get a field goal here. And uh, this is my first look at the defensive line. Of course I want the Niners to win. Oh my gosh, Fred Warner all over that. Yeah, call another timeout. That was a good play by us. Good play. They have 40 seconds to keep going down the field. This is just the best against the best, dude. I mean, when do you get to see two 6-1 squads go at it? Fred Warner, I want you to punch the ball out, bro. Like, I want you to punch the ball out. We have our best D-line in, so make a play. Chase Young versus Trent. Or not Trent Smith. No. All right, well, is he going to call a timeout? No, they're actually going to go for it. CeeDee Lamb's right there. I'm going to use Jair Brown. Okay. Kind of knocked him out of field goal range. All right. And they called the timeout. They're going to have to go for a field goal here. They're going to have to. And there's a big chance. Oh, no. They have Brandon Aubrey. He hasn't missed. I'm stupid. <laughs> Brandon Aubrey hasn't missed. But this is pretty far, though. This is pretty far. I'm going to just play it safe, you know, just in case he does hit it. But if not, does he make it? No. Does he make it? Not enough leg. Not enough leg. Brandon Aubrey misses it. Oh, man. That was way past the 50. That was way past the 50. Niner faithful. We survived. We survived and we're on to the Super Bowl. Another visit to the Super Bowl. What a game. Hell of a game off of a missed kick. 153 pass rating from Lamar Jackson. 118 from Dak. These guys went head to head, just battled. And Lamar Jackson did have a fumble that did might have cost them, but they, they stayed in the game. CD Lamb and Michael Gallup did their thing, and so did Tony Pollard. But George Kittle came up clutch, and so did Brandon Ayuk with four catches, 116 yards, and one touchdown. Love to see that. Defense, you know, Dre Greenlaw and Eric Armstead have half sacks. The Cowboys had more sacks than us, but what a game, and we are on to the Super Bowl. Oh, and so the Super Bowl is Niners versus Bills. The Bills, let's see what their record was. They can't be another. <clears throat> Another insane squad. They went 15 and 2, bro. That is crazy. That is actually insane. Um, all right. Well, so Lamar Jackson has his work cut out for him this whole season, but we have a Super Bowl match against the Buffalo Bills, 15 and 2 versus 16 and 1. And there, we were both one seeds. Josh Allen had 36 touchdowns, five picks, 114 pass rating. Latavius Murray had 12 rushing touchdowns, so and Josh Allen had nine. So he, they these guys did their thing. They had two 1,000-yard receivers. Trent Sherfield had 14 touchdowns on 1,100 yards. You would have thought he was the number two receiver. And defense, they had two guys with an insane amount of sacks. 16 from Greg Rousseau. 15 and a half from Von Miller. Eight from Ed Oliver. This is just insane. And Razul Douglas had seven picks, bro. My gosh. This this is going to be a battle. So Super Bowl starts off. We are down 3-7. to seven. Oh, well, never mind. 10-7. 40-yard touchdown pass from Lamar to Brandon Ayuk. And it's now 10-14. to 14. Niners come back and score. We get the ball back. If we could get another score here before the end of the half, that'd be insane. We do. We're up 24-14. 31-14. Oh, my gosh. We're shutting down Josh Allen. 31-17. If we keep the ball here and score again, I think it's game over. I think it's game over. 38-17. 38-24. They're going for an onside. And we ended up winning that. We didn't even have to play a snap. So... Lamar Jackson, man, 83 completion percentage, 306 yards, three touchdowns, 142 pass rating. Josh Allen played well, too, 131 pass rating. These guys went off. This was a war. And CMC just barely hit five yards per carry. He had 60 yards on 12 attempts. That's insane. Elijah Mitchell had a fumble, though, that could have cost us. But, wow, our Niners defense shut down their run. James Cook had 15 carries, 35 yards, 2.3 yards per carry. Trent Sherfield went off. But Brandon Ayuk, five catches, 92 yards, three touchdowns. He came up clutch. Debo had a good game as well, eight catches, 71 yards. And, wow, what a performance by our guys. Uh, defense, I want to see what happened here. Nick Bosa had one and a half sacks. Von Miller had a sack. So these guys showed up in the biggest stage of it all. So 
what what a game what a game so as we look at the offseason recap lamar jackson won pretty much every single award so <laughs> he won super bowl, he won the he brought the niners a super bowl championship won super bowl mvp was nfl mvp and brandon i Brandon Ayuk was Offense Player of the Year. So Lamar Jackson on the Niners would be insane, but they would have so much success, dude.